to be in the spaces with these amazing writers, authors, creators uh, with us tonight. So I'm gonna go straight into it. Oh, ni. Oh, ni, my sister. Oh, ni. Give some love for Oni. Give some love. Um, so, I actually don't really do spoken word anymore, so this is one of the few, um, this is the first time I'll be doing it this year really, and um, it's kind of scary, because <laughs> um, I'm kind of out of practice, um, but you know, I look forward to doing it for you guys tonight. I'm going to do two poems, they're really short, so depending on how my spirit feels after I've done them, I might do a third one. Otherwise, I'll just run off with my tails between my legs. Um, the first poem I'm going to do, I, it's the first poem I ever performed a long, long time ago. Um, so that's one of the ones I'm going to do for you tonight. Who is she? That young girl walking down the street with tears in her eyes. A skirt so short you're afraid to look twice and loops popping out top got you hypnotized. Got you asking for her number, failing to notice that her hands are ice. That her look is empty, not sexy. Her lips so sweet you can't tell it's a grimace, not a smile. Because it's such a treat to have her kiss, you forget to ask her age or you want to seem like it's a miss. Take all you want, give nothing back. In this world where we look out for our own need. So you fail to see her bleed because you think she's done it before, that she's just a common whore so you can walk away without looking back to the damage you have done. She's walking the next street now, you're already telling your guys how it's been. Before she's knocking on a the door, they're already asking for more. All she wanted was a bit of shelter, but you can't hear her, her silent prayer. You think you know what she wants, her disdain is just a front. Obviously, what else could it be, unwilling? <laughs> Not likely. Her record is in the Guinness Book. You're not taking anything that hasn't already been took. Because she's not saying no, you're convinced that's what she came here for. No, you're not one to commit. And if you were, she's not it. You're looking for a naive virgin, someone too innocent to realize that you're not worth a thing. So you send her on her way trembling because she's cold inside out, calling your name, shit, suck her loud, thinking at least it'll be warm in hell. Thank you. He mumbles a stranger's name at night, with lips puckered and dripping with saliva. As though she were candy, he nibbles and bites. He smacks and licks his lips, dreaming of her. With lips puckered and dripping with saliva, he moves in and goes for the kiss. He smacks and licks his lips, dreaming of her, and I, I pretend that there is nothing amiss. He looms in and goes for the kiss, but I am the recipient of his fantasy, and I pretend that there is nothing amiss. I take his passion and pretend it's for me. I am the recipient of his fantasy, the woman in his life and in his bed. I take his passion, pretend it's for me, forget she's got his heart, she's got his head. The woman in his life and in his bed, the woman called his wife. Forget she's got his heart, she's got his head, remember that this man is yours for life. The woman called his wife, but as though she were candy, he nibbles and bites. Remember that this man is yours for life, although he mumbles a stranger's name at night. Thank you. Okay, let's try for a third one. Yes. <laughs> she carries her business on her head with pride, chewing tobacco and white, wiping sweaty palms on her rapa. Life holds no surprises and she is content. She wraps color knots with hands not washed and sells them for triple the going rate. She bears children yearly that she cannot afford, but she is content and life holds no surprises. Her hips are so wide now she sways. Her husband so drunk now she nags. Her children so hungry she hustles, but never looks for a way out, for there is no way out, no route but this. Life holds no surprises and she lives it. She carries her burdens on her shoulders, head held high, pointing at the pain of others and shielding her own, wiping the sweat from her brow, opening her legs wide to braid. The musk you smell is her, but the money she makes will not last a day, because this is the sum of her wise and life holds no surprises. Her hips are so wide now she sways. 
Her husband long gone now, she bends. Her children so desperate, she kneels, but never looks for a way out, for there is no way out, no route but this. Life holds no surprises, and she lives it. Thank you. Poets and writers, are we going into different spaces in Cape Town? And spaces that most of us don't really know or interact with. And listening to the poetry, listening to what you said, just reminded me of today's journey we did. Digging in too deep in those spaces we lock and lock and lock. Those walls we build and build and build and don't want to break down. So thank you. Thank you for that. Yo, guys, poets, ne? I hope you're the Kleenex ready. <laughs> Oh, really, I hope you can get to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're fine, you're fine, you're good hands, you're good hands. Um, our next sharer, our next poet, is a person I've been following, we've been like, following each other for years now. Yes. Four, five, six, seven, eight years. Wow. Nine, Nine years. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, I'm here. Nine years you've been following each other and they work. When I first heard them, I could relate to them. I could relate to them because my lineage is very diverse. It's not black, white. It's diverse. And sometimes people want the black and white answer. And I can't give them the black and white answer. I'm like, I am the answer. Yes. I, am the answer. I am the answer. <laughs> So, Shimane, you, know, you really give us that. Shimane, guys, give us another show. Thank you, Alison. We are not me, sir. How are we? Kind of good. Yeah. You want to get cut? Not that one. And buy a good donkey, ne? Okay. So tonight I've done something I've never done before. I translated my work into English for you. I've never done it. Okay, so with that said, this lekker mense, ek is die Engelsiene, ek is Afrikaans, so as jy nou foukie of een of twee of drie raak sien, so lang as jy die boodskap verstaan, verstaan ek en jy mekaar. You believe it? I put in effort to translate something for you. I didn't have to do it. My great job done, so jy is dankbaar, na? Baie dankie, say baie dankie. Okay, so this is the poem I usually do to sort of just loosen myself up. Um, I'd like to think it's funny. So laugh, no? When, there's, when, when you feel like you think it's a joke, laugh. Okay. See over dinner, but Jane, if I myself it. No, my Ian. To a claim, was it ik altijd gedink, a wound in a cat is man and fro. Hoe kom anders al hulle so baie fight? Nummer 2. Ons het een dag touch rugby gespeel by Tinnie Pat. Toe val ek. Daai was nie so bad nie. Die feit dat ek in een wolkak geval het was. Nummer 3. Ek het een dag een peisie op my rechte been gekry. Die peisie was prekseer en goudgeel. Slim kind wat ek was, het ek het uitgedruk en later hou my dremelies uitgedruk wat het bieter sal maak. Sout en asijn, tamaki saus en silamusa, sanlight siep en sout, sialotype en steeksal, toe niks meer weet he, was het die kliniek, swatsal, een goeie pak sala en oma liefde, wat nou nog die lilike nok op my rechte been een bietje bieter maak. Nummer 4, Ek droom van niks behal wat ek dag droom. Maar as ek droom, dan skrik ek altyd wakker, sonder dat ek weet wat het was wat ek gedroom het. Nummer 5, en hier moet jylle lach hoor. As ek kind, kon ek nooit rera goed Engels verstaan nie. Dis hoe kom ek een dag met een karrentje aangestap gekoot, toe daar vir my gevra was om die broem te bring. Broem, broem. Nummer 6, Ek het nooit verstaan hoe kom my ma altyd lach as ek sê, Mami, breekvis beteken een vis wat breek nie. En om my sewe, as ek een dag met iemand sal kon spend, sal dit moest likely my oma wees. 
Al is het ook net om haar handen te zetten in doppel wat mij tot mens gemaakt heeft. I've been sitting with this thought this week amidst everything that's been happening in South Africa. And the thought is, the thought is, I wonder what society, our, our landscape would have looked like if every child grew up in a house where there was love. Um, call me naive, but I honestly still think that love in its purest form in our homes not outside, not in our homes, from the moment a child is born, is what can bring about change. Yes, and for me, the person who had loved me was my grand. Mm -hmm. The 25th, my first ever writers, um, I still shared about her and she was still with us. She passed on, she's going to be in her better place on the 10th of February. And so this performance is a tribute to my backbone, my matriarch, my... You know, I, I cannot even put into words what this woman had meant to me. And so the next couple of poems I'm doing is about my gran. And it tells a little bit about of the role that she had played, but also her story. First one is called Oma Liefde. A oma, sy liefde is soos dier perfume. Jy hoef net a bietje in die nek en aan die pols te spuit. En jy sal vir die rest van jou leven iets lekker het om aan te rik. En al begin het onderlangs te stink van al die kak wat die leven jou mee wil vermink, gaan die oma geer nooit weg gaan nie. En dit sal jou kracht gee om al die geraas om jou weg te was met haar gebede. <tries> 